Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today in a very special episode of Factorio, as done by an engineer, we have no time limit on this one. Instead, we are going completely objective. Today's objective is to actually get our smelting area right here. Create is to finish the smelting area. It is to finish the smelting area, or at least a good chunk of it. So what am I doing? First off, we're gonna hook up the copper. We're gonna hook up the copper line, and we're gonna f get the um, iron line, and we're gonna bring them both up to here, so we can actually begin production. Here we go, up to here, so we can actually begin production on our large scale factory. So what does this mean? That means we got a lot of work, and I wanna do this as efficiently as possible. I'm actually doing over here on coal. Coal should be okay. So first things first, let's actually finish off our copper smelting facility over here. In a previous episode, thank you Java, I, I don't really care. In a previous episode, I had noticed that when I set up my entire area, I had set it up incorrectly. So now I've got that all rectified. One, two, there we go, that's looking right. So a space, one, two, one more space, one, two, space, one, two, space, one, space, one, two, space, one, two, space, one, two. Now why I'm doing putting so much space in between all these is so that we can do the larger electric furnaces when that time comes and I can just completely cancel all dependency on coal. So this will be our copper line right here. And then we'll bring down, it's gonna be for our coal. Oh, crap, roll with it. Coal, our copper line, our other copper line. There we go. And let's get robots placed. So, robot, robot, robot. I'm sorry, I am sorry, inserters, inserters. I'm in work mode. I don't necessarily deal with robots, but I was thinking of robots. Like, you know, um, good old Robbie Robot. I think that one's kind of pushing, you know, Forbidden Planet? No? Um, okay. I wouldn't be shocked if nobody knows that one. That was a really good movie, by the way. For those of you who don't know, kind of the premise is, um, this advanced race, um, I don't remember what they're called. The Krulls, possibly? I, I really don't remember. They basically created a machine that inevitably led to their downfall. And they basically created these creatures of the id, which I believe, if I remember correctly, kind of like project, were primal creatures, which, um, or if you don't know what our id is, it is a Freudism, I believe? I, I don't, I didn't specialize in uh, psychology, so I don't know, but it's a Freudism. So what it, it was is it um, kind of projected our, that created these monsters that kind of embodied um, the Krulls most basic savage beastly desires and it is actually a very good movie uh, for those of you who know what I'm talking about it is a very very good piece of science fiction um, very very well done in my opinion for, for the time actually um, a very old science fiction movie it's right up there with uh, I never did finish all of 2001 a space odyssey I hear it was a very good Stanley uh, Stanley uh, Kubrick I can never remember people's names. I'm really bad. I'm a I'm a face person. I can remember people's faces for just about ever, but heaven forbid you want me to remember a name. And that's basically how that goes. How am I looking on robotic? I'm going to need a few more long-handed inserters. That should be fine. Stanley Kubrick? I think that's what it is. But it is a very, very good science fiction movie nonetheless. I'm actually a pretty big movie buff, you know. I, I like all kinds of movies. Back when I was um, growing up, me and my dad, we would watch um, the old, really old cheesy sci-fi giant monster movie, like Attack of the Giant. Um, there was one I remember. My mommy grounded me so I couldn't finish watching it, but um, it's like Attack of the Giant Praying Mantis or something. Like, I love those old cheesy sci-fi flicks. Like, um, you get a Twilight Zone so thing going in front of me. Oh, so so good. Um, the one episode I really liked of Twilight Zone was Talking Tina. To this day, that still haunts me. And it's slowly driving me into madness. 
that or the fact that I'm an engineer. I, I can't keep it straight anymore. So we're almost done here. Get the last of the power hooked up. Normally I'd do this with larger electric poles, but I don't have that researched. I did a whole bunch of research off camera, by the way, just because I had the resources and, you know, stuff was just kind of sitting there. And we'll bridge that right here. Oh, that's looking good. So then we've got these two huge copper veins. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll give this one preference. I'll give this copper vein preference by just kind of, you know, putting it in the front because, you know, that, that makes sense. I'm going to put it in front of this whole setup just so that I can burn through it quicker. It's because it's kind of in the way and I want to just, you know, use it up. Trust me, in my head this makes sense. Sweet. So that'll bring in part of the copper line. Actually, if I wanted to use it up first, I would have put it in the back, just because belts fill from back to front. So if I really wanted to use it up, I would have did that. So actually, I'm just going to kind of let this one fill up most of this. Oh yeah, I gotta do my super stupid splitter design here, otherwise I'm gonna get OCD. So let's do that. Then Yeah, we'll bring it in like that. There we go. Now I'm now I'm figuring this out. Trust me, I'm an engineer. I know what I'm talking about. You can always trust an engineer to give you the, the right answers. Actually, that's a lie. You can't trust an engineer to do anything, but you know, live and let live. I screwed this up. I have this like completely backwards and just obtuse here. So let's try this one more time. There we go. Up. Oh, shoot. This is more rage inducing than that one time I induced rage. Rar. I am really shitty at commentary, and I know that. I'm much better when I've got, like, duos. I, my commentary, if you listen to any of my, like, old first starting off on YouTube two years ago videos, my commentary has significantly improved, but it's not as good as those people that have the couple hundred thousand subscribers. I'm getting better, though. I make a point every day of talking to myself in the mirror to... Oh, cool. Sir, next inserter stack size bonus. Very good. So we'll kind of let this one drain out. It doesn't look like I'm going to get too many resources from that. So we'll pull off of the coal line here. Now, it may be ugly. First thing you learn about an engineer. If it's ugly and it works, suck it up. Oh, look at that. So now we should begin cooking of copper. Actually, it's already begun. It has begun. Cool, I'll kind of leave this one to run by itself for a little while just because I want to use up this particular line. So then that begs the question. Oh yeah, over here, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I'm kind of just making a landfill so I can fill in this at some point. I filled in a little bit, not too much, but enough. So now, here's the challenging part. We gotta get this up here, and we gotta get this up here. And I guarantee to you, it's going to be ugly. I will pride myself on how ugly this is going to be. Let's just extend this out a little bit. 
just in case if I do decide to utilize uh, more of the of the production here. There we go. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it sure beats me walking down here as I walk down here. Damn it. Curse my mouse. Ha, <laughs> curse, curse my mouse. Cursor my mouse, huh? 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 I'm sorry, I have no friends. Trust me, I will come back and I promise I will clean this up. For the time being, suck it up. Shoot! My OCD is getting so triggered right now. Mm. Sweet. Actually, I just kind of wanted that right there. That should be fine. I don't really know how this load balancer works, so please don't ask me. I have never really bothered to learn more about the, the load how load balancing works. Oy, I am going to be running low on coal pretty soon. Actually, no, this will be fine eventually because this is the initial um, burst of coal into the system, so I should eventually catch back up. It'll take some time, but um, yeah, I'm not even tapping this coal deposit completely. I'm not even topping that one completely. I've still got a few around here that I can bring in resources from. I should eventually do trains. That'll be a fun mod. I've never used trains in here very extensively, but that'll actually be pretty fun. I might uh, reserve that for Season 2, which might be coming up once I get the factory like producing all the basic stuff. We might be coming up on the season finale of this one um, pretty soon, actually. It's not that I want to stop doing this, because trust me, I love this series. I'm very passionate about Factoria, but um, yeah, I don't know everything about Factoria is the problem. So in order to like make myself seem semi-competent, I gotta do myself some learning and trains and robots are a couple of things that I know, but um, I'll tackle that season two. I might put a summer release date on that one. I don't know. I don't have uh, all the information yet that I need to know in order to make this to make the next one a very successful series. Look at that! Look at that! Keeping right up. Yeah, we're, I'm tapping this. I'm t actually tapping that pretty hard. Giggity! I may want to bring in. I shall be able to hit these two once I uh, disconnect my smaller factory. Once I like cease using my smaller factory, about the only thing that's going to be used for coming in here pretty quick, or about the only thing that's going to be used for anymore. Oh, I ran out of belt. Some gun. Uh, the only thing I think I'll keep my smaller factory for is for the science, and even then I'm going to be doing blue science pretty shortly, so I might migrate that all to a. Uh, different portion of my factory. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Oh wow, that is looking a bit low on resources here. Um, There, one more. It's not going to hurt anything. Looking A-OK. -okay. Yep, we should catch up there pretty quick. Alright, belt. Belt, 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 belt. Belts. There we go. Where's belt? There's belt. Taking all the belt. Good luck catching up, factory. Love ya. Good. We've almost got a complete backfill on iron, which should really stop the coal production, or our coal from being sucked up but just a gratuitous amount. I see why the game creators made it so that you can only, you have to be so close to to your friggin thingamajig here to actually do anything. What the heck? Huh. What is that? I don't get that. Oh well. What was I thinking on that? Huh. 
to just pimp this out a little bit here because you see how this is getting backed up. I want to prevent that as much as possible. So I'm just going to... Yeah. Because unfortunately the way this works, this will all deliver to the closest portion of the belt and I want to try and prevent that and so that we're getting maximum production coming out of these damn belts. So as many of you might have noticed, um, another cool little thing that we're doing now is my friend, the the most foxy gaming, and I have actually begun doing uh, the jolliest of cooperations on our YouTube channels. And if you haven't checked him out, I strongly suggest he's on my featured tab, actually. Cool guy. He's insanely more successful with this social media thing than I am, and I've actually learned a lot from him. But uh, cool guy. If you haven't checked him out, I highly suggest you do. That's my P public service announcement, uh, my PSA for the day. Eh, I hate belt with a, honestly, I hate belt with a passion. It's just so damn annoying to lay. If there is a mod for like straightly laying belt, I'm sure it'll be much better when I get robots and stuff. What? What? It's a random log. So you might notice, um, I did explain it in an earlier episode, but you will notice that I am not currently using two of the smelting facilities that I've kind of put out there. I've actually think I got five in total down there just because for later planning. That's going to contain my iron and at some point stone brick, but I don't actually, or my steel production and my stone brick, but as, as for the time being, I don't actually need them. Especially early game, I really don't need them. I can make do probably to the end of the season before I'm going to even need to consider using those. Yeah, look at that. It's coming in pretty nice. So that should be it. I think next episode I should be just about... Oh, I'm already done with this? Oh, cool. Yeah, this was another um, uh, stone facility. I just wanted to quick exhaust the resources out of this one. It was tiny and I was just using it for basically landfill. I'll just get rid of that here very briefly. A little bit of stone left over, that's not bad. More furnaces, sweet. Alright, excellent. I can clean up the power pole situation just because why not? Right. I think I was using that just to light up the area a little bit. Excellent. So that should be everything. I think next episode we're actually going to begin production on the big factory. I'll get the buses ran. Like how I do this is I'll run like my main resources just right down a bus. Yeah, I'll run my main resources down here on a bus. This will end up being like iron. Oh cool, another stack size done. This will end up being iron, then you got your copper, then this one will end up being gears. Yeah, this one will end up being gears. I think I'll end up moving this one down more, but this is just kind of so I know where I'm putting stuff. So this one will end up being like your gears and your circuits, and then like steel and lesser used stuff down here. How I how I like to do this is um, right away I'll run a bus. I'll like I I noticed in my on previous playthrough that I've done of this like you're always going to be using iron cir iron uh, gears and you're always going to be using circuits so I make buses just for those and I set them right at the beginning so I can just pull off as need be but I think this is actually going to be a pretty good place to stop uh, thank you all for your support on the series thus far I believe next episode we're going to begin getting the factory actually doing stuff and phasing this area out completely get all my basic uh, building resources you know assembly machine, get all my basic building stuff out of the way, you know, inserters, belts, migrate science up to something, wow, I actually could afford to expand the science area a little bit, I might throw in six more labs, that'll be good, yeah, research faster, 
But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for right now. Um, be sure to hit that bright red subscribe button. It really, I really appreciate it. And remember, support your smaller YouTube channels. We're oftentimes the more fun ones anyways. That's getting good. All right. So next time, we'll, build, we'll start the main factory. The furnace area, for the time being, is done. And looking good, I might add. I think this is one of my better built furnace areas. Yeah, looking good. Well, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Mm -hmm.